every life in the wetland has its own survival strategy. And the Yangtze wetlands in eastern Wuhan lives an aquatic beetle known as the didacid. It uses its stumpy forefeet to lug its daily supplies. This carnivorous beetle has lassoed a conch and a damselfly larva as today's specials. It grips them tight while moving to a safe area to devour a hearty meal. Apart from its forefeet, its torso also doubles as a special tool. The didacid can't get enough oxygen underwater. It needs to carry the oxygen below the surface to ensure its breathing. The didacid inhales through a tube in its tail. keeps the air in a small space between its elytra and abdomen. This is its proprietary oxygen tank. When the tank is full, it takes a rest down at the bottom. But this beetle has yet to find a suitable foothold. Didacid can swim smoothly underwater due to its sleek body structure. Its elliptical, streamlined figure and smooth elytra greatly reduce underwater drag. Less than four centimeters long, it resembles a miniature submarine prowling at flank speed. Its strong and flat hind feet are draped in fuzz. They act like oars to propel this mini-sub. It shuttles to and fro among the aquatic plants, seeking the perfect nook in which to rest. The fully loaded oxygen tank produces great buoyancy the slightest lapse of concentration will send it bobbing to the surface. To take a good nap, the didacid has to grab the weed tight with its forefeet. Being exposed at the surface would make it an easy target. When the tank reads empty, the didacid must return to the surface to catch its next breath.